Back in 2017, we saw that the rapid advances in digital technologies that have been developed for telecommunications and cloud could also transform industrial process control. We believe these IT innovations would free manufacturers to gain orders of magnitude greater flexibility and efficiency, and still increase reliability and cybersecurity. We'd already developed a platform to make complex systems easy to manage, and we saw an opportunity to take another leap forward and make converged IT and OT process control systems easy to deploy and operate and evolve. We wanted to know how do we guarantee high availability of a multi-vendor system? So if you have a device that fails in the middle of the night, how do you ensure that the plant continues to operate with the same degree of integrity and reliability? And, and that might require you to automatically provision a new physical or virtual device uh, in the plant based on the plant's failover policy. The reason that orchestration is extremely important in this area is that today the, the whole package is delivered usually by a single firm and they manage the hardware, the software, and the services. In the future, as these systems are assembled out of different hardware and software components from different vendors, the integration task has to be greatly simplified. If it isn't, it'll become too difficult to manage. And these systems have to be extremely reliable. So orchestration is the means by which this kind of assembly of different systems and components can be managed over a long life cycle because these plants have to operate for many years. But if you cannot make the systems appear as easy to use and user-friendly as the legacy systems, that folks in industry are used to using in the distributed control area, um, you'll fail. It's funny, we talk about new technologies and our IT friends tell us they've been doing some of these things for 15 years, so uh, it's not new technology. And so that's the kind of thing we said, well, these guys are experts at this, this sort of implementation. Let's see what we can make it do. Bringing advanced IT technologies into a traditional business like industrial manufacturing is neither straightforward or simple. Uh, we had to learn to see the world through the eyes of industrial process engineers. And many of the world's leading companies had already come together uh, in an open standards organization to try to address this challenge of unifying IT and traditional OT systems. At that point, we rolled up our sleeves and spent over two years understanding the needs and the challenges of this market before we got this opportunity to, to show what we could do in this ExxonMobil pilot. In this uh, transformation to open automation, ExxonMobil has played a very important role as kind of a leader among the automation end users. They operate hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of process units around the world, and they have a very important installed base that they need to service and make very flexible. And so they provided a lot of leadership and uh, investment in developing these technologies and systems. So our objective with the pilot, uh, I raised, at least as we originally envisioned it, was uh, we're really focused on trying to demonstrate the art of the possible. And we want to do that because through, through the process of demonstration, you learn where the barriers are and the critical issues and, and where they lie. So what, what we did really believe was that um, there's a real significant value proposition in using information technology uh, in a manufacturing or operations technology environment. Um, you know, we, we call that IT-OT integration. And, and, and what we see from the OT side is that the pace of change in IT is so staggering fast compared to uh, the OT industry. So it makes good business sense to just look over the fence and look to the adjacent industries like IT that have existing and mature technologies and, and solutions that you can adapt for your own industry, like containers and orchestration. This system, pilot though it was, had real capability for IT folks to look inside it at a very low level, which present day automation systems simply don't have. I actually tell people I never test, I torture. Um, I want to know if I can break it. And so as a skeptic, uh, I ask that question, all right, what are its limitations? What can it not do? What did I give away? 
What are the costs that I don't know today that I will regret later for making this choice? We've never seen anything like this before. I mean, you know, we all had to check to make sure our socks were still on because they were trying to get blown off. I think the aha moment was seeing it in action and it really does everything that people say it will and more. You feel like you just found a, a treasure um, or you discovered something that hadn't been seen or understood before. And, um, the ability to turn what used to be very manual processes and that take days and weeks to accomplish as a, a human being doing certain tasks and to see these same tasks done you know, in the order of minutes or hours using technology that is available. You know, this is a real step change to our world. Being able to see a manufacturing operation from the traditional perspective that we have of the Purdue model and seeing it also from the IT perspective where it's standardized hardware and software in kind of a cloud-like perspective and have that be the same system, the same manufacturing line, the same plan. That's gonna be very powerful. I saw iterations week after week and it wasn't just better polished, it was on a different plane. In this case, I think we've shown that orchestration is exactly what we were looking for. The, the, the demo was remarkably simple you know, with respect to the interface and, and the speed at which you're able to, to load the software and configure it was, was well beyond our expectations. The least plentiful resource we have is time. We need to solve our problems. We need to do them quickly. Every day means my company maybe can do things more efficiently, more effectively, more profitably. And, and that's why we're in business. And so shortening that time is really powerful to the business as well as just how do we get open process automation available in the marketplace? So we learned a lot about the art of the possible. We learned a lot about uh, what can be done with all the standards-based software that's available in industry, like Tosca I mentioned before, Redfish, OPC Way, all the other standard interfaces. Um, that demonstration just gave us a lot of confidence that you know, we can import and modify IT technologies and make them work for an open control system, um, respecting the needs and requirements and in, in operations technology. So we have a lot of learnings. We have a much deeper understanding. Uh, we have proof that it will work in terms of solving some of these issues using the technology. I guess what's changed significantly or most is that orchestration, we now believe has got to play a significant role in open systems design. You can't get there from here and really make a step change without implementing the things that we've seen in orchestration. It makes it easy. It automates tasks that should have been automated a while ago. It's proven technology. It's very powerful stuff. The migration to open automation systems is going to make the current manufacturing systems far more flexible than they are today. Not, not 5% more flexible, but 500 times more flexible. Seaplane AI's mission is to bring together the promises of next generation converged IT and OT industrial control systems. But we're also eliminating uh, many of the risks. Uh, our industrial orchestration solution is making it possible to have more security, more reliability, and easier management, while at the same time having more flexibility, more op openness, and more interoperability. Without industrial orchestration, these are mutually exclusive attributes, and Seaplane AI and our software is able to bring those together through industrial orchestration.